Grandpa Jemima and I were making a wild and scary animal park with our wild and scary animals. <laughs> Is Bob the Shark wild and scary enough, do you think? I don't think so, Grandpa. Well, it could be. <laughs> I think we need some more animals. Just then, the doorbell rang. I ran to answer it. And who should be standing there? Hi! Bubbles! Bubbles the babysitter! Bubbles is always great fun. Sometimes we make things. Sometimes we play bat and ball. Sometimes we do face painting. And today, guess what she brought with her? He wanted to see my best friends right away. He's so cute. Oh, come on. Bubbles see. took her new little friend out of its basket. It was so cute. Ah, oh, Bubbles. And who's this? He's called Squeak. <laughs> so this was the day we all got to play with Bubbles and Squeak. Oh, dear. I think Wolf is a bit scared of Squeak. He probably thinks he's wild and scary. Just as well it's time for his walk then. Come in with me, Jason. Yes, please. I need to get some monkeys from Mr. Whoops' shop. We must have more monkeys. So off I went with Dad and Wolfie. I hope Grandpa wouldn't put on his shrinking cap and shrink while I was out. You know what happens when he does. He does this. And this. And this. Catch me if you can! He can get up to all kinds of mischief. He can get in my car and make it go. He can chuff around in our Sunny Sands train. He can even fly off in my plane. But Grandpa only ever shrinks when he thinks there's a problem. And with Bubbles and Squeak, of course there wouldn't be a problem. But just then... I came round the back! A problem turned up. Floyd. Floyd lives in the house opposite, and he goes to my school. He loves boasting. Look at my new watch! He loves playing jokes. Boo! 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 And he always wants everything his own way. Grandpa agrees with me. Floyd is a big, spoiled show-off. Check out my new skateboard. What is that? It's Squeak! <laughs> Kittens are stupid pets. Squeak is not a stupid pet. He's a wild and scary cat. And he's going to be part of our wild and scary animal park. Nice one, Grandpa. <gasps> Actually, I've got loads of wild and scary pets. You need to see them. Wait right there. Floyd, we really don't need to see anything wild and scary. <laughs> oh, no, he's gone. Grandpa, being Grandpa, had an idea. Well, Squeak, I think Bubbles is going to need a bit of help with that boy, Floyd. He took out his shrinking cap, and to Squeak's amazement, Grandpa shrank. He hid on the shelf, just as Jemima and Bubbles came back. Grandpa must have gone for a little lie down. Whenever Grandpa shrinks, everyone thinks he's gone for a little lie down. Oh, you're back in your basket, Squeak. I'm back! Wanna see my rat? Do I want to see your rat? Uh, no thanks. Oh, uh, go on. No, I really, really, really don't want to see your rat. Just a peep. Whoa! It was only a toy rat. Gotcha, gotcha! <laughs> but it still made Bubbles jump, and Grandpa was cross. Come in the garden! One of my other wild pets is out there. Too wild to bring inside. Come on! He's only playing tricks, Bubbles. Yes, but you know me. I'm not very good at tricks. Oh. Tricks, eh? Well, we'll see about tricks. He's in this plant, tipped over very quietly because he's asleep. And if you wake him up, he gets really, really wild. 
of us knew that Floyd was just going to play a trick with some kind of fake pet, but she was still really nervous. At that moment, Grandpa ran out of the kitchen and hid. Are you there, Simon? Simon? Yeah. He's my, um, snake! <laughs> of course, Bubbles knew that Simon was a plastic snake, but she hated being chased. Oh, I hate being chased! <laughs> oh, don't stop it, Floyd! She hates being chased! Then, Grandpa came out of his hiding place and got up onto the table. Don't tell anyone I'm here, Squeak. I'm going to hide round the back. Chasing you, Bubbles. Is it? Oh, good. You'd hate to be chased like that. <laughs> Chasing doesn't bother me. Nothing bothers me. Come on, Bubbles. Let's go and get a drink. <laughs> Floyd went up to squeak, and Grandpa got ready to put his plan into action. Well, hi there, Wildcat. You're really scary, aren't you? Ha! Floyd turned his back on Squeak again, but this time Grandpa went... Meow! Was that you yowling? Trying to make me jump, are you? Ha! No chance. Grandpa's first plan hadn't worked, so he jumped off the table and ran towards the pond. He saw the shell and that gave him an idea. Floyd? There's nothing the matter with me, but there's something the matter with your kitten. It yowled at me! Yow! Bubbles and Jemima dashed outside to see if Squeak was okay. And of course, Squeak was fine. Oh, he's fine. <laughs> but I think he might be better off inside. With Bubbles and Jemima out of the way, Floyd suddenly spotted the big shell. Hey, cool shell! I could pretend there's a wild animal in that! <gasps> there actually is a wild animal in it! Brilliant! Hey, Bubbles! Oh, I see. You're trying to scare me now, are you? Nothing scares me. And that was the moment I arrived home with Dad and Beowulf. Floyd, fancy seeing you here. Are you okay? Yes, but guess what? There's a wild animal in that shell. I'm going to get Bubbles. One of his jokes, I suppose. Come on, Wolfie. I knew that this was probably not one of Floyd's jokes. And I knew who the wild animal would be. Oh, yes. Grandpa! I had to. Floyd has been trying to make Bubbles jump, and I've been trying to make him jump back. But it hasn't worked. I'm going to try one more thing. I have to get into the pond, and you have to get inside and fetch me the shark. This time, Grandpa was about to go too far. Come and see! There really is a wild animal in that shell! While Floyd was trying to persuade Bubbles and Jemima to come outside, I ran into the sitting room. No more jokes, Floyd! It's not a joke! I got Grandpa what he needed and ran back into the garden. Come on, there's a wild animal outside! Come on! Floyd, come here! Quick, come quick! I'll be back. I saw something move in the pond. What? It's probably our shark. Your shark? He's very small, but he's very fierce. <gasps> Grandpa's plan was working. He was underwater, making my plastic shark move. Just when Floyd was really close, Grandpa made this happen. <laughs> While Floyd ran inside, I fished Grandpa out of the pond as quickly as I could. I'm so sorry I tried to scare you. I was only joking. But now I know what it feels like now that that shark made me jump out of my skin. Hey! So Jason played a trick on you for once, eh, Floyd? I guess so. But I won't play another joke again, I promise. It's okay, Floyd. I shouldn't let your jokes bother me. They are only jokes, after all. Yeah. 
want to see my spider? Oh, um, uh, yes. While everyone was laughing at Bubbles, stroking a plastic spider, so brave. <laughs> I took Grandpa in my pocket to the sitting room. Cap off, Grandpa, quick! Well, Jason, I don't think Floyd will try any of those tricks on Bubbles again, do you? No, Grandpa, we did it. Teamwork, I say. Teamwork! <laughs> Here we are. More monkeys. Oh, just the job, Jason. Grandpa, your cap's all wet. Is it? Oh, of course. That's because I've been swimming with the sharks. <laughs> <laughs>